Hey everyone, let's talk about the comma operator. Um, because I really do think, musical puns aside, I really do think it is a bit like a chameleon, which it, it has this habit of blending into its environment and, and being hidden and causing havoc. Um, so you might have seen this, this tweet from Freya uh, a few days ago, um, which shows a really, really nice, elegant piece of C sharp. And I know it's a forbidden language, but bear with me. Really nice piece of C sharp for swapping two variables um, using a new tuple syntax in C sharp seven. And I took one look at that and I thought, well, it, it's legal C++, technically. You'll, you'll notice what Cybrand wonderfully called the, uh, the load-bearing asterisk. Um, it's legal C++, but thanks to that comma operator, it doesn't do what you want. Um, so the comma operator will evaluate the left-hand side and then discard the result, and then evaluate the right-hand side and return that result. So in this case, what we really get is B equals A, which is, you know, it, it, it's not what we wanted, but it does compile. Um, here's another example I found in the wild. And my first reaction to seeing this code was, wow, I didn't know the language let you do that. Because it looks like it's doing some fancy parameter unpacking and that the ternary is going to have kind of this precedence and this grouping. Um, and so I frowned at it for a little bit and I played around with it and I realized, oh no, oh dear, oh dear, what a mess we're in because it's actually, it's getting passed like this. So that inner grouping, end comma start, evaluates end, by doing nothing, discards it and returns start. So the ternary is now return start or start. And then the right-hand side of the, the entire function call is just comma end, which is your second argument. So really what we always get is animate between start end, which is not what we wanted from the code as written, um, uh, as kind of implied, but it's what we get. Um, so these are obviously problematic. At least the compiler can tell us that we've done something wrong, right? Um, so in, in both of these cases, we've got an unused variable on the left. Um, it doesn't have any side effects. So discarding it by do and doing nothing is probably wrong. Will the compilers tell us about it? Clang's the only one to tell you by default. GCC, MSVC don't do anything. But with flags, you can get output from all of them. So Clang will do unused value by default. GCC, you have to turn that on explicitly. MSVC, you have to turn on uh, slash wall to get C4548. And Clang also has an extra flag for comma operators, um, specifically uh, as part of uh, dash where everything, which is great. Um, here's a tweet from Jason Turner from uh, last month. Can anybody spot the bug in this code? I'll give you a moment. It's right here. So that comma right there, that's a comma operator. It's not an argument separator. It's a comma operator because the parenthesis before it is closing that function call. So it's doing some format function, then a comma, and then some func too. Well, that's, that's, that's really not good. Really not good at all, really not what you wanted. But the compilers will tell us about this, right? So just for the generalized case of function call, comma, function call, will the compilers tell us? Nothing by default on any of them, at least not the big three. That's, that's probably not good. Um, if I start turning the flags up, Clang will get it with dash, co uh, dash W comma, but the other two still do nothing. Um, you'll notice the first one is returning void and the second one is returning int. If I swap those around, it's still the same because the left one is going to discard the result and that's fine because the function probably has side effects anyway, so it needs to evaluate it. Likewise, the right-hand side. If I mark the left-hand side as no discard, then it will warn on all three compilers because you're violating a no discard and the left-hand side of a comma operation is a discarded value operation. What about the right-hand side? So if I mark the right-hand function as no discard, what do we get? By default, Clang and GCC will throw unused result on this. But you'll notice I've got another load-bearing asterisk on GCC um, because GCC apparently only does this if the return type is like a built-in type. If you return a no discard stood string, it won't warn, which is scary. And MSVC still says nothing even about this case. And if we start turning the flags up, Clang gives us dash W comma again. Great. GCC doesn't add anything new. MSVC still says nothing about any of this. And I was talking about this because I discovered this last night and I was talking about it with some people far more experienced than I am about this. Um, then the argument was made that the comma operator itself is consuming the result of the right-hand expression. And then the result of the comma operator is not 
itself no discard. So this is quote unquote correct behavior, question mark, maybe we're not sure. In, sense, in terms of what's sensible, I think Clang and GCC have it right here. And I think MSVC may be more like standards correct, but is less useful to the user. Another problem with this, the comma operator, right? since C++17, if you overload it, it's supposed to have the same sequencing rules as the built-in one, so left then first. But uh, literally a few hours ago today, I found that GCC doesn't do that. And I think it's a compiler bug, but I'm not 100% sure. And it feels like every time I encounter the comma operator, I just learn some new horror about it. And so furthermore, I think the operator comma should be destroyed. Thank you.